Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel. Or to the channel if you're new here and to episode 46 in our All the Mods 9 series. I was definitely busy between episodes and I got a couple of things done. So grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos. And let's get on with the fun. All right, so we're back. <laughs> and this is, uh, you're going to see this here because this is the remnants of me transferring everything from my system over to refined storage this is the very last chest uh it's gonna go pretty quickly because this isn't nearly as many things as there were to transfer before but i did it i went back to refined storage i had to spend an uber massive amount of time making these extra discs now i was gonna make the 16 um million ones because they would have matched the the 16 million ones that we had for applied energistics but i mean come on look at these they're purple and black like i had to so i spent probably while things were transferring i spent probably i don't know an hour and a half to two hours grinding the materials to make these ones and then the fun got to start and of course i made the mega importer and exporter which made things a lot easier and yeah, we got it done. And she's here. She's all hooked up back over to our furnaces, which by the way, these cables didn't connect to this, which I love. <laughs> so we're back to our, our uh, refined storage goodness. But honestly, it's m maybe we'll go to applied energistics when we finally settle into a permanent place, which don't worry, it will happen. We're not even halfway through the series. So you guys, it it'll be fine. I promise. Um, you have to remember that my videos are done in a way where it's, you guys are playing along with in my eyes it seems like you guys are kind of like playing along with me or that's the goal anyways so it's not like in one video we're getting 20 million things done and it's like you know it's no it's a play along it's basically you're gonna see me go through my process and bounce around everywhere and it's just how it is so you know what yeah <laughs> that's just how it's gonna be you will hear <laughs> excuse me i am still sick but we're doing the thing we are doing our thing today so um, I'm just very glad that I got my little baby pink things back. I will miss my rainbow controller, but you know, sacrifices had to be made. So I will show you guys um, <clears throat> everything that I did. I am going to be stopping to drink water quite frequently though, because good gravy in my throat. Um, I did make a wireless transmitter, and as you guys see, I, uh, can see here, I made an infinity range booster, so for those of you that don't know, that will make it so our little remote will work. Now, I have the remote in my curio slot. These remotes actually go into any of the curio slots, which is pretty cool. So I have a wireless crafting, gri wireless crafting grid from refined storage add-ons here, and I have it hooked up to the same key that my um, other one, and I still have this one, the terminal for the gear, because that's for that terminal there, but I just realized I started babbling about stuff and didn't go over the comments that we had, because I was so excited to show you guys, so we'll get back into that in a second. I want to go over the comments. So, 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 so. Astrea says, Ugh, the Amethyst Rainforest lost, lost its pretty purple vines. They are mucky gray, green, purple color now. That's where my home was. Yep. So this is what they're talking about here. So uh, in the last episode, I showed you guys that the purple in the um, the ominous woods, like the grass, the purple grass is no longer purple. It's like a gray blue color. So, and if you guys remember these vines here, if you've seen my other episodes, these were a very, very, very like uh, purpley color. Now the leaves aren't aren't too bad. They're still kind of like a. Those are the color that the grass should have been in ominous. Should have stayed in ominous woods, but. Yeah, so you guys can see here, like this isn't, this is the color of the grass that the Moonlight Valley used to have, but now the grass there is like that weird green blue. So it's, something's changed and I don't know what. And so it's not just me noticing this, it's something in this pack that's changing it because somebody else had checked the Biomes of Plenty um, current version, but I guess they didn't check it in this pack. They checked it, I guess, as a standalone or with some uh, another pack, and it, everything was still the same color. But for whatever reason, in this pack, these colors have changed, and I don't know why. And it's really like it's sad because I really wanted that grass, but I'm not going to go on a on a tangent about uh, about that stuff. And apparently, there's a dungeon on the moon where you can get the globes. But yeah, that's where I got this. I don't know. Anywho, I guess <laughs> that person didn't see I got it there. So anyways, I'm sorry that it happened to you too, Estrella, but we're just going to have to power through, you know? <laughs> um, Jack, our lovely Captain Automation says, 
I believe you wanted the enrichment chamber to make the enriched redstone slash diamond, etc. So you get more yield when putting the enriched version in your metallurgic infuser versus the raw materials. That is very possible. I'll have to look into that being um, what I need to do, but I thought I was doing it the right way, but I guess not. So I will have to take a look at that. So thank you, Jack. I appreciate you. Naughty says, to sort out the doggy problem, the only viable option is tame another wolf. So then one can be Luke Goblin the third and one can be Sploot. I agree. So we'll have to go and get ourselves another dog. <laughs> Actually, I need to put that on the list. Hold on. I forgot to put that down. Go get another puppers to name Sploot. And the other can be Loot Goblin the third. Robert is very talkative today. Goodness. Um, and then they, uh, they said, with mechanism to speed up the machines, make more tier upgrade, make, wait, d words, if I could read, <laughs> to speed up the machines more, make tier upgrades. They can then process more items at once. Also have one fully tier upgraded metallurgic infuser dedicated to one, to each of coal, redstone, diamond, and refined obsidian, and then possibly a spare basic one will do for gold for the holorum for the reactor when you get there, and biomass and anything else that can go into them. This way you don't have to clear the inventories. Also, if you put the infusibles, coal, redstone, etc. into the enrichment chamber, they will last eight times as long. Wait, if you put the infusibles into the enrichment chamber. Ah, okay. So I did something like that on my uh, FTB Skies world, but definitely I'm going to have to kind of uh collect my 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 thoughts in terms of what i want to do for that but i am going to put that suggestion in i have like a list of uh save for later tips and stuff like that because oh 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 pressing all the wrong buttons uh because sometimes i don't use the tips like right away um because we're not going to be doing the mechanism stuff today so we're going to put that in our little tucked away list here there we go okay so thank you for all of the comments you guys you are awesome i appreciate you as always but Back to my babalabaloo about all of this. So, I've run the refined storage cables the exact same way the other ones were. They're under here, and they're over here. So, these all have the exporters on the side and the importers on the bottom. So, anything that comes into here is going straight back into the system, and so on and so forth. And then, you know, all of the stuff that's coming out of here is going into there, and blah, blah. It's basically set up the exact same way that I had it before. Uh, the chunk destroyer is not put back down because we already have like a disgusting amount of things. Like I don't need any more stuff from the chunk destroyer right now. Um, we have so much stuff. Now, the downside to doing this. So I have nothing with NBT data. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. Nothing with NBT. I, basically, I'll explain it this way. Every single thing I had in my, my applied energistic system that wasn't causing any issues was transferred into this. However, Refined storage seems to be a little more sensitive when it comes to NBT stuff because everything can have and <clears throat> not everything. How am I going to explain this where it makes sense? A lot of things have NBT data attached to it. However, some of them cause more issues than others. So um, I was transferring things. So as like the big stuff was transferring into the chest and into the because I had it set up here like I had the applied energistic system here. I had a chest here and then I had my refined storage here and it was kind of just going like bloop bloop. But and it was nice and quick and everything like that. However, it's um some of the stuff that was coming out of the refined or the applied energistic system was actually causing the refined storage system to do that thing where the screen goes blank and which is when it gets corrupted right so you have to log out log back in i had to log out and log back in probably several times until i figured out what the issues were and for, for whatever reason there were just little teeny tiny things that were causing the issues so i transferred a lot of the other stuff into here that i thought could possibly be causing the issues and Fingers crossed, so far so good, she's she's behaving. So um, it took me probably b <laughs> with making the discs and transferring everything probably five plus hours to, to transfer. Cause you guys have to remember like I had over 15 million items. So it was a lot. And I just plopped on a YouTube video and came in here and just did my thing. And it was, it, it was nice and relaxing and you know, other than me having to log out to uncorrupt the system, but anywho. She's working. She's there. She's getting the rest of the stuff in. It's almost done. But yeah. So uh, yeah, that's that. It's done. We're, we're back with refined storage, which means now <laughs> we could automate our orb, which I mean, we could automate it with the applied logistics too, but um, I know how to do it with refined storage and modular routers. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, I am very, very tired. <laughs> So I'm going to try to remember how to do this off by heart. If I can't, <laughs> it's going to be a struggle. But, I, you know, I just got to make like my netherite crafter. I've got to make my uh, the modular router stuff. And I've got to make the um, network 
what are they called? Um, mm -hmm, mm, 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 brain network, these things, transmitter and receiver, and all that jazz. So, oh yeah, and also the network card. Okay, you know what? Let's just uh, do this, do do do, and then we're gonna do uh, our modular router. Do, and then we need to make the modular router. We need to make the redstone augments. We need to, oh, Robert, hush. We need to make the MK, is it MK3 or two that I have to make? I can't remember if it was the MK2 or the MK3 I have to make. I'm just gonna put both on there just in case. I think it was the MK2, I think. <laughs> Wait, no, not redstone augment, detector module, this thing. Um, uh, was there anything else for modular routers I needed? I don't think so. If I'm, I, I'm trying to do this off by heart. I might screw this up, <laughs> but I might screw this up and I apologize if I do, <laughs> but you guys are going to have to bear with me here because like I said, I am not feeling well. So if, if I could pull this off, <laughs> I'm going to be so impressed with myself. <laughs> so impressed. Robert is a talkative boy today. Okay, and we also need to do the wireless transmitter again. And then we need to, I need to make a crafter. However, I'm going to go up to my other crafters. Iron, gold, diamond, netherite. Okay. Okay, I think, I think that's everything. Is that everything? Oh, we also need cables, but that's fine. I also need an importer. I think I have importers. I do, but I only have the elite importer and I want to make some ultra ones or a, an, an ultra one. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's, ugh, it's so fun. <laughs> so much, but I mean, we have 131 million spaces, so we should be all right. Hopefully <laughs> I left a space for the, um, my brain is really really not working today i need to make two crafters i have to make a crafter for here and a crafter for over there i also need thankfully i can attach it's going to be like th the worst looking little machine because i have the wireless thing here and then i have the other thing over there but thankfully with like i can stack the stuff up like that which is nice it doesn't have to be specifically touching the controller but oh god it's gonna look like a a, a robot behemoth of doom but okay we're gonna do this we're gonna see if i can remember how to do this off by heart so I hope you're cheering me on, cheering me on here because like I, oh goodness. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I could do this. I could do this. Okay. We need to make another wireless transmitter. I need to make some more of these. I need to make you. Um, I'll do the crafters last. I need to make a network. Oh God. Okay. Make a bunch of these. Make a network receiver. Network tr transmitter. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, by the way, that reminds me. So when I was transferring things from my, so like I said, I was doing like the singular things as the big stuff was transferring. So <laughs> the quests were going buck wild. It was so funny and they were just popping up like crazy. It was absolutely wild. And it kept doing the bong bong. Like, oh my God, it was so much. I think it might've glitched a little bit cause like it kept going. So I had to log out, log back in and it stopped. But um, yeah, like I guess maybe I had progressed to other things and uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I put these things back in my inventory as I was transferring them and then it was triggering all these things. So I left them so we could go over them together. So maybe we'll do that first. So the Aldemont Star, there was a power one. Uh, what's your power generation looking like? Is it at least close to 100 million RF per tick? No, well, we need to change that. There are plenty of ways to generate all of the power. You'll need to create the star. So let's make some of those. If you haven't checked out the all the power section, this will help you learn more about the power options. Interesting. Ooh, what did I just get from that? Flawed gem of the ravenous blood lord. Oh, yeah, this is the lifesteal one. Okay, so we're going to put you in here. This this guy is struggling, by the way. Like when you open it, or when it, when I open it, do you guys see that little blank moment it has? It was worse before I went through and broke down a bunch of the other gear for the the all I almost said aldermanium for the apotheosis stuff. But yeah, she's she's definitely having a struggle. Um, she's got all of the NBT stuff in here, so 
yeah she's she's having a struggle but that's why we have her <laughs> um so yeah this stuff okay good so a pot uh, the, again you guys don't know they added the apotheosis quest line so they have the thing for gem dust weapons Ooh, I got, ooh, 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 ooh. Cl 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 clicking so many different buttons that i should not be clicking good gravy okay so that one's done i didn't read those because it's just stuff and things so refined storage because of the controller limit you'll probably end up wanting to connect different systems to your main hub without a billion cables connecting them this is done using network transmitters and receivers transmitters should be connected to your main system wherever your controller is the receiver should go wherever you want your external network to be for example this can be a separate part of your base where you have bees a mob farm etc to connect the receiver to your main network you'll need to use a network card to bind the network card right click on the network receiver and then place a the network card into your network transmitter that is attached to your main system today i'll be doing that today for the um the module router setup oh but i know that jack is frothing at the mouth like oh my gosh she's doing it she's doing it dear sweet captain automation is going to be so happy assuming i remember how to do it but <laughs> we'll see we shall see my friends we shall see yeah so all this power stuff triggered all this stuff here we actually we've made all of that but i think because i put them directly back into the system we need to go back and make these ones but that's going to be fine because we're going to automate this stuff now it's, it's gonna be a little bit easier for me so i don't have to clicky clicky and give myself carpal tunnel so apotheosis wham bam thank you ma'am i love all these little apotheosis big shout out to the the quest creators in in uh, the other months team you guys do an amazing job uh so we're gonna put all this stuff away i need that network card so that's good i didn't have to make that okay so wham bam thank you ma'am okay I am very cheesy when I'm sick. Yes, you guys will get used to it. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny too. I fought it and I was like, I'm not going to get sick. I'm not. This is just a little cold. And then my body was like, you thought. <laughs> but that's not going to keep me away from recording. It is going to keep me away from starting streams because those are definitely uh, something I have to really be feeling like my best for. Because you guys know I go for like eight hours or whatever. Um, I might have to make them a little bit shorter though. But we'll see. It's all stuff I have to like think about and plan and all that jazz. So you can see this is going over into the furnace. She's getting sent. To oh my god, it's almost empty. It's almost empty, you guys. We just have a billion silver blocks. Okay, let's continue. So we did this, we did this, we did this. Do I want to put speed? I think I may make some more speed upgrades as well. Um... I need to make my modular router. I'm gonna make you. Oh, me, right. They gave you four. I forgot. Um, what else do we need? I think I have speed upgrades. I do. I have plenty of speed upgrades. Good. Um, do I need to do ones for space in these? I don't know. I don't remember. I think it was MK2, right? It was MK2, right? It was MK2, right? Please tell me it was MK2. And I forget where I have to attach this. Like, I know I have to do this one for the, the detector and all that stuff inside of the modular router, but what was this one for again? I have to click this. Oh, I have to click that on the orb, right? Yes, okay. Okay, I'm remembering. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Slightly remembering. Okay, um, and now this is going to get set up over here. So we're actually going to... We're going to have to tear down our... our uh... We're going to have to tear down our thing real quick right here. Because... Oh, crap. I'm just going to have to tear her down real quick. Because I need to work on this underneath. Because I want to have it kind of like compacted in the ground. So I want to have like this um i watched an alfred gg tutorial on this from i think it was all the mods eight and he showed how to do this so uh you guys can go check out his video i'll try to remember to link it below if i don't just remind me but yeah he's, he's just so pleasant to listen to i absolutely adore listening to him talk uh especially when he talks about power <laughs> he's like power 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 <laughs> funny as heck i think he's one of the the devs on the uh, all the mods team as well but yeah, so we're going to be going under here like this and setting it up here. So um, I need to go and make the crafter. 
So, um, let's get these made. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have to make a whole whack of Jacko amount of these, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Oh wait, no, hold on, no, you don't have to. You only have to make one for one, right? Okay, no, I don't. It's only, oh, it's the neural processors that are gonna, oh God, my legs take up. Wait, I don't have obsidian? Uh, huh? I should have like a stupid amount of obsidian. Are you, are you crazy? Yeah, I should have like a ton of obsidian. What are you on about? What are you on about? Stick you in here. They're so pretty, they're purple. We love purple. At least I love purple. <laughs> pretty purple. Okay, so gold crafter, done. Diamond crafter, done. Netherite crafter, done. Okay, I'm gonna have to make another one of those after. Actually, we're probably gonna have to get our netherite uh, <coughs> crafting, or not crafting, um, yeah, words, you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, words, words are hard. I'm just gonna go like this, get all that out of there. And then go like this, and then go like this. And then we're gonna turn you into goodies. Look at all that netherite. Oh my god, it's delicious. It's so tasty. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss the um, AE clicking, but that's fine. There we go. Okay. So, now, am I gonna remember how to do this? Maybe. Wait. Can I use this wire? Oh no, because it has to be attached to the receiver. Is it the receiver that goes on this one? I think it's the receiver that goes on this one, right? Where should I put the receiver? Here? Here, right? Am I gonna remember how to- <laughs> This looks so goofy. I have to put this one at the front because I need to put other things there, but like, it looks so- Actually, maybe I can stick that one in the front when this is- Well, it's done. So maybe I can- Oh, but I don't want that sticking at the fr It just looks so goofy. Whatever. Okay, that's fine. Uh, put you away, put you away. Okay, so then we need you, 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 and I I think it's an importer, right? We also need our cables. I am hoping to hope that I remember how to do this. Okay, so the crafter has to go here. Nope, that's not. Nope, that's not. Oh, God. Placement is... The placement, the placement is the part that kicks my butt every time. No, it has to go facing up. How do you make things face up in this game? Ugh. Do I have to go down below? Like this? No. This? No. This is the part that always goobers me up. Um. How did I do this before? <laughs> I spent... A stupid amount of time. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, and then you are going to go here. And then you are going to go here. And then I have to attach underneath. Like this. I need my cables. Okay, so the importer goes... The importer goes to this, right? I'm just thinking, hold on. Does the importer go to this? I don't remember. Uh oh. No. This goes here. But here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. Okay, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to tinker around. So now what I need to do is I need to click this. Oh, just one. The shift click this. Put that in there. And then I need to, so this is to, this is the part that, that's confusing because in this detector thing, you have to detect where the modular router is compared to the crafter. But the only problem is, like if you're looking at the crafter, it looks like it's to the left on my left, but to the right of the crafter. But for whatever reason, you still have to select the left. At least I, I think so. That's what I, I had to do in my other world. So I don't know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if this is gonna work. And then I think I have to click the network card 
to no wait to here over here do i have this set up right i don't know i don't remember if i have the setup right hmm that should be glowing blue what did i do wrong What did I do wrong? This should be blue. And this should also have lights on it. What did I do wrong? Hmm. I feel like I did something wrong. Oh, and this also needs to be set to insert next set. Um, I feel like I did something wrong because this should be glowing, right? Am I remembering this correctly? Did I do what? What? Mm. Brain. Yeah, this isn't glowing either. I mean, it does need power, right? Do I? I don't even remember putting power on these things before. Okay, so <laughs> I know you guys are going to be screaming at me because I set these up the wrong way. <laughs> I knew I would do something stupid. I knew I would do something stupid. I knew. I knew I would. I knew I would. Uh, bloop. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew I did something wrong I knew it I absolutely knew it okay so <laughs> there we go I had the receiver the receiver on the wrong thing okay so there we go now this should be fine this should work should should being the operative word here should so this has to be said to redstone pulse insert next set and then this I I have I think because part of me is like okay so I have it set to left right and yeah, it is MK2, by the way. Um, but to me, that's right. But I guess to the thing, it's left, right? So that's kind of how you have to look at it. Like, you have to look at the... Yeah, anyways, whatever. You guys will figure it out, I'm sure. But, okay. So now, what we need to do is... Cross our fingers and hope... Um, once I set this back up, that this will be fine. But, um... I feel like I'm missing a step. That seemed a little bit too easy. Um... Wait, no, I also need to make a pattern. I completely skipped a step. <laughs> I need to make the patterns. Ay, 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 ay. I knew, I knew I would have missed something. Okay, so we have the speed upgrades. That's fine. Da, 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 da. This is all. We don't need all of that. Okay, so we need pattern. Nope, that's not JEI synced. Okay. Do I have to have, do I have to have a, a crafter on this system too? I don't think I do. Actually, let's get the, let's get this set back up real quick. Um, get her set back up. Should I just do nine and not do like, you know, my whole little setup that I had? I don't know. Should I? Is that overkill? Is it overkill? Do you guys think it's overkill to have our cool little like setup that we had? I can't see a dang thing. I need to go sleep. I'm hoping that I'm going <laughs> to. I'm hoping I'm doing this correctly. But again, I already screwed up, so we'll see. Is this how high I had them? Or was it one lower? It's gonna go there. I think it was one lower, right? Was it here? I don't remember. Was it like that? I 
I feel like this is... And then we'll stick a point up there. I don't know how I want to do this. Now I'm getting all like distracted by how I want to set this up. I feel like this... <sighs> I feel like that's kind of overkill. You know? Mm. Wait. Oops. Yeah, that is the right amount. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of feels like overkill. I, I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> the real question is, do we have it set up properly? But we need to make the patterns and all that jazz first. So see if I can remember how to do this. So pattern, something or other, pattern grid, pattern. Do we have enough to make this? A bunch of those. There's some music. Need to make another grid. <clears throat> there we go. And then I need to do pink. There's so many noises happening right now, and I'm like tripped out because I don't like hearing noises I don't recognize. Okay. So I guess we'll put the pattern grid there. Turn it pink. Put our patterns in. So now we have to make the patterns for all of the the uh, doohickeys. So, ooh, I hope my keys are... Oops. Oh my god, now the phone's going off. Good gravy. Um, let's see. So do we want to make a pattern for that? Nah, we might as well. So we'll do... Oh, no, that's not... That's not what we want to do for this. We want to go like this. Hmm. Wait. But where's the pattern for the blocks? Wait. Did they take out the ability to make... Oh, here we go. I was panicking for a second. I'm like, did they take out the ability to make the blocks? Wait, what's happening right now? So that's... Niotic. Um, and then we'll do spirited. And then we'll do nitro. And then the rest I don't care about right now. I just want to make sure this works. I think that's it. Okay, we're, we're going to do this for like the sake of testing. So if you hit your uh, shift key, it'll show you what your patterns are. I think that's all of them. I think. And then you want to go into your... Oh, actually, you can make speed upgrades for the modular router and for the network or for the, the, the crafter as well. But... um, Do I want to... I, I'll tinker with that in a second. So... Actually, I have a wireless grid, so we can we can see if it'll actually work. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if I have this done properly, but we'll see. Oops. Oh my good gravy, could you type properly, please? So if you go, what was it? Shift like that. Oh my god, we did it! Wait, no, wait, no. It's not going to the system, though. 
Wait. It's not getting sucked up into the system. Uh-oh, what did I do wrong? Is this not set properly? Wait. Wait. It's not going... What did I miss? I missed something. Why isn't it getting sucked up into the system? And did I, I miss something. I, I missed something. What did I miss? Okay. So, uh... I know what I did wrong. <laughs> I made the sender module and not the puller module. So I'm sure there's plenty of people that are going to be face palming uh, at me because I'm a derp. Yep, 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 yep. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I will be all right. But now, <laughs> that's not working. <laughs> now I'm getting. <laughs> now it's wrong. I swear I've done this before. What is happening? Um. Like, is there? Do I have to? Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Why would I have to do? What? That is absolutely set correctly then, right? Right? Am I, am I, am I, am I going crazy? I'm going crazy, right? Something's wrong. Something's wrong and I don't know what. Something is very wrong and I don't know what. That's correct. I'll get to the upgrades in a second, but I just want to oh, I just want to make sure is this set incorrectly? Oops. Well, it worked. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> now it won't even send the item to it. So now I'm really confused. This is correct. This is where it should be. This is where it should be. This is where it should be. There we go. Okay. So you guys saw that. It worked, right? But... did it <laughs> it is automated oh my god why was that for whatever reason the only way i fixed it by switching the oops I, I fixed it by switching the um the crafter mode and it just now it works for whatever reason let's try this start start look at it go okay so now we're gonna make the upgrades okay i'm gonna shut this video for whatever oh god that was so confusing like why brain please um okay so now we're gonna make the upgrades so we need to do speed upgrades and stuff like that so we're gonna do speed for this because er, sorry for this and then uh also for this so we can do like the normal speed upgrades for this one like this so right now it says 125 times and now it's at 225 times so that's nice and quick but we also need to make the speed ones for the modular router Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, she's, she's, oh, she's tasty. Look at that. Oh, my beautiful bean. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you doing your thing. Oh, I just, uh, I was so confused. <laughs> I was so confused. I'm so glad it works. <laughs> oh man, that was confusing as heck. So now let's do the modular. I forgot it's not, I, I don't have it synced to JEI on purpose because it gets really blippy. Okay, so where's the speed upgrade on? Flinger. <laughs> uh, extractor, extruder, energy, dropper, detector, crater, bracket, energy, fluor, speed, 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 boop. Now you are just being difficult on purpose. 
I think you can only put nine in if I'm correct, right? It like this. It won't let you put. There we go. Oh my god! Look at it go! Look at it go! Zoom! Oh, she's zooming now. Oh, she's zooming now. Okay, so actually, we want to make the alloy patterns now too. Is right? Is right? It's. <laughs> Uh, brain, please. <laughs> um, no, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Uh, so this. Wait. No. Should we do the ingots as well? Okay, so I need to make a crafter for this to make those blocks i think maybe we'll just do it ingot with the ingots because i just i feel like it'll just be easier for me to do that for now and then i'll tinker with it later oops and then this one and what else do we want to make um i mean i guess we do want to make these eventually but i really have to make the crafter for this first um to do that so let's put these in there i'm so scared that like anything else i put in here is gonna break the system so let's let's test out the the ingots is it gonna work oh it's just slow okay so I guess it would probably be better to do the blocks then. Maybe. If I mean, if it's going to take a while. Mm. Okay, we need to make another crafter. Oh my gosh, I <laughs> it took me way too freaking long to figure that out. Okay, so let's make more of these. Make one more of that. Chess, really? Iron crafter, gold crafter, diamond crafter, netherite crafter. Okay, then we're going to attach you here. So, does this one have to do the same ouch, set thing? I don't think it does, does it? Um, I know you could do like a crafter monitor and stuff as well. Should I make the monitor? Does that really... Oh my god, I forgot it's not synced. I didn't double click. Excuse me. Monitor. Storage monitor, crafting monitor. And then I want some pink dye. Maybe I will sync it with JEI. Whatever. It's getting really annoying. And then we'll stick you here. So this will just show like what things we have going. Um, but I need to make the patterns and stuff. So it's going to be good for mystical agriculture and stuff. But is it, will it work for mystical agriculture? Because when I was testing this with my master crystal, this wasn't recognizing the master crystal. And it was like crafting a bajillion of the other crystals and throwing them into the system. And one of the things that I noticed that caused NBT issues with my system was the crystals from mystical agriculture. So I kind of don't, I might have to tinker with that between episodes, but... Um, what, what do I want to, hmm, I guess I kind of want to make the blocks of the unobtainium, unobtainium and stuff, so that can be sent over there. I'm going to have to tinker with this between episodes, but yeah, I, ju I just wanted to make the, um, I just wanted to do this. I wanted to automate this. I wanted to get this going. Um, I think, let's see how much stuff we have. Oh, we have so much stuff, so I'm not really worried about that right now. I do kind of want to make some more energized steel, though. Let's just make a whole bunch of it. 
Yeah, look at her go. Okay, so she's going, she's pumping, she's good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, on to the next thing. So uh, between episodes, I'll tinker with the crafter here and get some patterns going for all the other stuff. Um, we do need to get some more on Obtanium and Vibranium, and I don't really know a good way to do that other than going and manually farming for it. Like, I know you could do like the mystical agriculture seeds and stuff, but is that something that maybe I should just set up in like an, a farming area with like a... Uh... With like a lily and stuff like that. Let me put that on my list. A uh, set up seed area. Is there unobtainium seeds? For unobtainium and vibranium. Um, seeds. Let me look. Because if there is, that might be a viable option. Oh my god, I'm not double clicking, please. Unobtainium? Oh, there are. Okay. So go like this, and then vibranium, vibranium seeds. Okay, and then we can get those set up because then we can make um, I still want to make the cloche. I think that's really cool because like you get two, right? You get two unobtainium essences other than the one. I still want to make that cloche. I don't think I want to go through that today. But here's the thing. Actually, no. No, I don't. No, I want to plant them like normal. No, I want to plant them like normal because I want to use the growth accelerators. Right, 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 right. Then set up an area with growth accelerator, harvester, and lilies. Okay, that's what we're going to do for those. But we're not doing that right now. But I do have that set now so that we're going to do that. Because I just, as much as I love having like fortune 20 million, which by the way, now that Quark is in here, if you guys don't know, Quark adds tomes. So you can actually go above and beyond what you have on your stuff. So I think you can add like... What is it like five or six tomes you'll know when you're on the last one because it usually goes like 10 10 10 10 then 30. experience i mean to add them um but i don't think we have any tomes yet because we haven't really gone out looting since yeah we haven't but these tomes here the ancient tomes all these goodies here so i'll have to try to get some of those for i don't think you can get them any other way but looting unfortunately so let's look in our oh my gosh yeah we got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff unlocked for refined storage i like that they add the uh refined storage other stuff into here as well like the additional stuff is that music oh it is the music storage housing we have that what anywho okay so good stuff that's done. Our orb is now automated and she's she's doing her thing. Oh, is it already done? It's already done. What? Man, you're quick. Oh, you are quick. Okay, let's make some more of you. Oh, we need blaze. Oh, that's what I can do. Hold on. We can do this for this, right? The blaze. Um you're supposed to be JEI synced. Oh no, you're, you're not JEI synced. There we go. So we need to make blaze mesh like this, and then we can stick this in here, and then we can go. Up, 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 up. And then we can go. Here we go. So now that's connected. Now it's making that blaze mesh, which is good. Actually, we're gonna have to make some more of that. Look at it go. Oh, actually, I need to add speed upgrades to that, too. There we go. And then now we can send the blaze over here. Oh my god, Jack's going to be so happy. <laughs> He's going to be so happy. There we go. There she goes. Look at her go. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> But yeah, there's our monstrosity. She's looking like a whole computer system full of doom. Maybe I should do different colors. I mean, I guess I could technically get a rainbow that way, but I don't know. Now this needs to be pink. But 
I need a pink cable for that. Hold on. Now you're just looking. You don't. You don't fit in, girl. Hold on. There we go. All right, that's done. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Yay. Okay, we're gonna go and check on our little dudes and everything, take a little break away from this. Um, Let's see, actually, maybe we can make the seeds. Ooh. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That's, uh, that, that's, that, 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 that's the recipe. Um. I'm guessing you could do the same. Could you do the same modular router in importer or importer uh, crafter and stuff with this as well? Would that work the same with this? I don't know. Hi. Please go away. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh. Right. Let's do the seeds. So we need insanium blocks. Um, and then it said we needed unobtainium blocks. Wait, how many? Four and four. Okay. And then prosperity seed base. Here's the thing, though. I'm going to need to make a butt ton of these. Hold on. Make lots of unobtainium seeds and vibranium. Because I don't think they drop seeds when you harvest them, right? So you just have to keep continually making. Now, what is this magical soil? Will these not grow on just normal... On just normal farmland? Do I need to test this? These should... Gr it would make zero sense if they didn't grow. Okay, they do. Oh crap, let's make sure we're using our... Okay, there we go. Okay, so the next one is vibranium seeds. So insanium, vibranium blocks, okay. I need to make more insanium. Oh, okay. So this, I get really nervous putting this into the auto crafter specifically because as I said, it doesn't use the master crystal and then it makes like, but this was in a different pack. So, oh, I'm so nervous though. I'm so, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I don't want that to happen again. And I don't want my system to be overloaded by a million freaking inferium crystals again. Is this one going to recognize... Oh, should we test this? I don't really want to waste my video doing that. I I'm going to have to test this off camera because I just do not want to deal with that right now. So let's make... This is supposed to be JEI synced. Um, let's just make a bunch of Insanium. Uh, so we need to go boop, boop, boop. Boop, and then boop. I need, oh, Jesus, I need five more insanium. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there we go. And then we need vibranium. And then we need a prosperity seed base. Do 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 Oh, that's such a pretty color. Okay, we've got our seeds. So now you guys see I made them, I know how to make them, so that means that next time I am going to have a bit of a farm going and we're gonna have all of that jazz going and all that fun. why did I put this in here? Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to empty this into the system too. Oh, crud. Okay, hold on. Let's go get that emptied into the system. I also realize it is very dark, yes.
Uh, we will fix that in a momento. Seed speed, honey. Words. We're going to go like this, and we're going to go boop, and we're going to go boop, and then we're going to go boop. Uh, I have figured out that I don't need to use the filter. Um, exact mode off. Exact mode off. This should be going. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Yeah, now it's going. Okay, so I don't have to use the filter. Okay, there we go. All right, she's emptying into there. Good. So let's empty this stuff out of my backpack. And look at my list. So what do I... Words. What else do I have on here? Oh, yeah, the puppy. We need to go and get another puppy. So we need to go and tame another doggo so we can go and put him over with the other puppy. Let's go do that. So you, where are dogs usually? They're like in spruce forests and stuff, right? Let's get some bones. Uh, like so. And then we have cages. They're in spruce forests, right? I think so. What? No, you're right, am I wrong, am I right, am I wrong? That is not how you use that, Bruce. I am in the ground. Okie doke. Oh, this is where the foundry is. Okay. Let's look for some doggos. There's goats. We need one more doggo. They should be pretty much like everywhere, right? Actually, let me Google that because I, whoops, I know that there is, what biomes do wolves spawn in Minecraft? Uh, forest tigers, groves, old growth tigers, and snowy tigers. Okay. Let's see if we see any in here. Because we have to have Sploot and Luke Goblin the third. Oh, that is a baddie compound. We don't want to go there right now. All right, poopies. Where are you, little stinkies? There's a village, which we don't have time for at the moment. Mm. What's this? Oh, that's a pillager structure. I see the loot. Oh, bye. <laughs> They're like, you're not touching our loot. Nope. Um, should we just find a forest then? Um, let's go to a birch forest. Poopies? Little poopies. I know they're wolves, but whatever. Puppies? Oh, by the way, so in um, my one of my first videos, I was talking about how I was confused that the azalea wood was just like normal oak wood because I was thinking of quark and quark bakes like this really pretty green azalea wood. And now that quark is in this, look at that pretty green azalea log. Oh, you can see it in the tooltip. It's so pretty. I love it. And I think eco ecologics or ecologics or whatever adds a pink one, but um, maybe maybe I'm thinking of a different mod. But yeah, so <laughs> brings us all the way back to uh, to the very first couple of episodes when I was talking about the azalea wood. There's now quark. Oh, hello. What'd you give me? Cool. Uh, I need a dog, please. Doggos, where are you? Why are you going to, I mean, I guess I could use delightful dirt and hope that they spawn. Should we try that? Should we try that and see if we can get a doggo to spawn? Oh, hello.
They're considered friendlies, right? I'm gonna need you guys to... Can I have some doggos, please? Is this the right biome? This might not be the right biome. Oh, my bags aren't on. Oh, a treasure goblin! Hey, Stinky. Um, are we in the wrong biome? We might be in the wrong biome. Oops. All right, so let's go to a forest, I guess. I guess. Wait, did I? I'm just gonna put this on my list so I don't keep forgetting what the biomes are. Forest Taiga's Groves. Well, this is a clover grove, isn't it? A clover patch. Okay, so... Maybe let's go to a taiga and put it down? I think I've seen them in these biomes, right? I'm pretty sure. Why do they have to be so freaking small? Oh, yeah, you guys can see the, the grass now. It's like bluey green. Ugh, whatever. How oh dare. How oh dare. Can I have a dog, please? That would be ever so wonderful. But this is Forested Highlands. Why does this biome have to be so small? Puppy! Puppy! There we go, we got one! Okay. So now, let's go over to our... thingamabob. Oop. And then we will put him down here. We also need to get name tags. Oops. So needs to get name tags. So you're gonna go here. You're already sitting, good boy. Um, let's give him a pink collar. Why are you growling at Hush? There we go, pink and purple. Should I do black and purple? Why are you growling? Hush! Our dog, okay, I, I know which one is gonna be Sploot. There we go, black and purple, my two favorite colors to get. Well, black is the presence of all color, but you get it. We're gonna do name tags. So one is gonna be Sploot. I'm picking up all kinds of crap. Are you done growling now, Sploot? So this one is gonna be Sploot. Oop. And then this one is gonna be Loot Goblin the third. There we go. We got our puppers, Sploot and Loot Goblin the third. There we go. There are so many noises happening right now. Good gravy. Look at the, <laughs> they're so happy their puppies are here. Okay, let's see. Oh, you guys have been busy. Ooh. Okay, so we did the puppies. I showed you the furnaces. Did this. Oh, I also had to make a spider and slime neural for the neural networks because I needed like a ton of string and slime. So that's another thing I had to do. Uh, 
I wanted to check if the um that productive tree that spawned the bunnies, if you put it into a botany pot, will it put bunnies in the botany pot? What was it? The purple spiral log, right? Was it the purple spiral log? I think it was. Okay, no, it doesn't put bunnies in the botany pot. Okay. <laughs> and I wanted to check the architect's table with the productive tree woods. Now, here's the thing. Um, I don't know if it does, because it shouldn't show anything in the previews. But let's let, let's let's take a look. Let's double check. Yeah, like you don't. Yeah, it's like invisible. Oh, it's invisible in the preview, but it does do it. Okay. That's uh. That's confusing. Okay. What does this look like? Oh my god. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, no. It's it's still kind of goobered up. Okay. Oh, crap. Now I have an invisible thing in my... Oh, jeez. That's one way to troll people. Okay. So that... Uh, not quite... Not quite perfected yet. <laughs> Hopefully they'll, uh, they'll make that work because that's really cool. And I think that those could really um, make a lot of cool things. But honestly, like, you could make the... Yeah, you can make, like, the purple spiral door here, but, I mean, that's just, like, the basic stuff. Okay. So. I guess for the rest of the episode, we'll try to make some more progress on some of the quests. I did want to look into the Ars Ecclesia, Excelsia Ecclesia, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't, I don't know. I wanted to look more into that as well. But I don't know if that's going to be like a deep dive kind of thing where we have to give it its own episode because, um, yeah. So we're going to just take a look at the book real quick. We're going to take a look at our book. Where is it? Here she is. This one right here. Let's take a look. So natural phenomena. I'm guessing that's stuff that spawns. Oh, so that's what the zombie brute's from. Okay, so zombie brutes are uncommon zombie variants. They are stronger, faster, and tougher than normal zombies, but otherwise behave similarly. Zombie brutes drop rotten flesh, bones, and occasionally zombie hearts. Oh, so, oh this is what the wraiths are from. Okay, wraiths are eph eph ephemeral? ephemeral undead spirits that attack humans. They have the power to hover over all fluids. Their claws also inflict the chill debuff. Wraith wraiths drop tattered fragments of their robes and rarely their cold wraith hearts. The chill debuff freezes your health, preventing healing from all sources while it is active. It is inflicted by wraiths and by certain spells. Ooh, we haven't seen the giant skeleton. There are tales of catacombs where giant warriors of light rest, or at least they did until necromancers seized and corrupted them. They might be slow, but they're... But they're... Though... Opponents? Oh, I think I'm supposed to say tough opponents. Rarely the remnants of their old... Uh, their old will can drop in the form of imbued bones. Necromancers are spellcasters that summon dead minions to fight for them and appear in the last wave of village raids. They can also cast spells that inflict the vulnerable debuff. Necromancers drop their summoning staff, a powerful artifact. Okay, so um, the thing, these ones here, can you find the catacombs with the, uh, with this? Let's see. It says Eidolon Catacomb. Is Eidolon, I don't think that's the same mod. So I don't think undergarden catacombs no i don't think so okay so rituals Ooh, okay so yeah this is gonna be a deep dive thing so yeah we're gonna put that on the list deep dive into ours ecclesia i i really don't know if i'm saying that right let me read it ours ecclesia I don't know. Is that how you say it, Ecclesia? Okay, so into the quest book we go. So let's take a look at the Aldemod Star stuff. So, oh, Patrick, you adorable little bean. I do know I have to get into and so which of for that. Oh, I need to make 28 unobtainium. Wait, I thought we had all of these. I thought I made a bunch of those before. Hmm. Let's get these out then, like this. 
And then we'll do... This. And then we'll get a bunch of those crafting while we wait. So what did it say? Um, it was the unobtainium vibranium and uh, unobtainium aldimodium. Unobtainium vibranium. And it said how many? Let me see. Hold on. It said, oh my gosh, I'm moving my mouse pad thing. Good, goodness gracious. Okay. Unobtainium vibranium. We need two of the blocks. So that's nine. Okay. Uh, so that. Oh, actually, no. We can just make one right here. Okay, so that's that one. And then we need 28. So 9 times 28. 252. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ugh! Good type. It was the unobtainium aldimodium, right? I'm forgetting already. Uh, unobtainium aldimodium, yes. What are we missing? 90 aldimodium? I'm, I'm making more, by the way, I know. I know it says you only need that, but... There we go. We'll send those over, let them do their thing. Okay. Just double check that it's still working. She's still working? Oh, it's still working on the, uh... Okay, yeah, that's gonna take a minute. Is this too high up? Like, is that working? Oh, I'm so stupid! I forgot to attach a point to the- oh my god. I was wondering why that wasn't working. There we go. There we go, now it's going faster, okay. Oh my gosh. I knew I forgot to do something. Does that show on this? It does. Crafter is locked. What does that mean? Huh. Okay. You still going? You're still going. Um, these I don't have. Oh, I guess they're all done. Oh. Okay. I guess we can set some more stuff to smelt then. Um, I guess we can get the lead going, aluminum going, because we have so much of all of this. Um, actually, let's do the blocks. So let's make the crafting patterns for those. Um, block of raw aluminum. And then block of raw lead. That way we can send the blocks to the, the furnace instead and not have to do all of this craziness. Raw osmium, raw platinum, raw silver, raw tin, raw uranium, uh, raw zinc. I don't know where you get iridium from. Have we gotten iridium? I don't even know if we've gotten iridium. Uh, 
Okay, so we don't have that much. Okay. Oh, I thought we did. Oh. Wait, what? And then we're going to send Ron Nickel over. I guess I don't need to click. I guess I could type the number, right? Like if we do, can I do 100,000? No, okay. <laughs> that would be a little crazy. Uh, what about 10K? Okay. Hmm. weird can't do 50 do 30 and what about 10 no what about 5 Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll send Ron Nickel, and then what was the next one that we had a butt ton of? Let's see. We also have a butt ton of aluminum. We do 100k? Yep. Oh wow, we have a lot of aluminum. Okay, so we'll send some aluminum. And then the next one that we have a lot of is lead. Okay. We'll take some of you, put you in. Okay, the next one that we have a lot of is... Oh, actually, while we do this, we can send these over. Zinc. Oh, osmium. Oops. Oh, did I not make a thing for the osmium block? I thought I did. I did. It's right here. What? Oh. oh. I was clicking on the. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong one. That's why. Okay, we can send Osmium. Um, tin. Zinc. Lead. Osmium. Nickel. Uranium. What else are we missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. There we go. <clears throat> get those going okay 
What was I doing before I got <laughs> sucked into that? Um, oh, I don't have platinum in there, do I? I don't. Wait, why does the platinum look different? That's what the platinum looks like, right? Wait. Oh, because Greg Tech took over the image. What? Why? The other image is so pretty. Greg, please. Why you gotta do this? Okay. Let's go check up on our, our goobers over here. Okay, so we've gotten through the other ones. That's good. So we needed 28 of those, right? Oh yeah, we're not going to have enough. Okay. We'll let her do her thing. How much energy is that sucking up? Ooh, yeah, she's, she's, she's hungry. She's a hungry bean. I guess I can get rid of this stuff right now. There we go. Okay, so. Well, that's doing its thing. What else do we need here? Nitro player transmitter. Oh, right. We didn't make the transmitter. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. Wait. Use an aerial pearl on a zombie or a husk. How do I make an aerial pearl? Oh, like that. Okay, so let's go find... Oh, I guess we don't really have to. We have, um... We have a zombie spawner, so we can just take this and then go down to this. Spawn, please! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, zombie. Just gonna go down the list here so this unlocks as we go. So this is the equivalent of um of the the wireless ouch charging thing that we have from what you call it. From, um, Flux Networks. I'm not gonna use this because... Oh, it's... Oh god, it's wirelessly charging in my inventory. Uh-oh, 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 nope. Um, because it sucks up a ton of power. Like, a ton, a ton of power. I mean, I guess I could technically put this one on the destroyer machine thing for now because this isn't getting used so we'll give this one a break and let the machines kind of because this is getting used for that as well so i'll let these top ones use the other one because these are already sucking up from this so do i want to just take this off of here and give myself the option to switch this back and forth i kind of do so we can let one fill up and then one kind of like uh do its thing so I'll put you here for the destroyer. Yeah, there we go. And let this get used for these. There we go. Okay. Actually, that, that kind of matches the uh, the nitro color, which is really pretty. Okay. So, we got that done. Ooh, we got a gem. What did we get? Ooh, we got the loot goblin gem or the treasure goblin gem. Nice. I'm having a heck of a time finding that in my other world. Okay, so what's this? Create. Making the Elder Mod Star requires a massive recipe using 55 Create Mechanical Crafters. While you won't need to be a master at Create, thank you, <laughs> to set this up, you'll need a basic understanding of the mod to power it. You can power this with large water wheels. Can I power it with my other power stuff? So Mechanical Crafters? Oh no. Oh yeah, that's gonna, yeah, no, we're gonna wait on that. <laughs> I hate that stupid mechanical arm. Okay, Singularity. 
M matter condenser. Oh god, okay. Wireless terminals. I have these. Wait, does this not count? Oh. Oh. Wireless fluid grid. Wireless grid. Wireless crafting grid. But I have the wireless crafting grid. I have it right here. I hope that doesn't get used. Okay, so let's make this again so I can show you guys how I made it. So grid. Fluid grid. Wireless fluid grid. Wireless grid. What are we missing? You can take that off. So wireless grid. And then the wireless crafting grid. I literally already made this. Why is that not triggering? Yeah, but look, see now it's not, what? Do I have to do, no, that's attached to that. Oh, cause I'm dumb. That's why. There we go. So this is a universal grid. So this does all of the things. Oh, whoa. Oh, but it doesn't do crafting. Oh, there we go. Oh, you can switch. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, hold on. So maybe we'll use that instead of this one? Oh, wait, no, I have to bind it. Hold on. I have to bind it to a key. One second. Wireless universal grid. There we go. Here we go. Cool. Okay. <laughs> that was actually useful. <laughs> now we have all the grids, even though we don't really have a, fl a fluid thing or anything like that right now, but that's fine. Okay. So now, uh, controller. We literally have a controller right here. But okay. Okay. Guess that didn't trigger it. What's the next one? Large digital storage. No matter which path you take, you took for your digital storage, one of these is needed to make the star. Oh, so I gotta make the big boy for that. I have to make the um I gotta make the one point or the uh blah, 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 1048 million or whatever the frick it's called. Oh boy. It's 10 million, right? No, that's 104 million? I have no idea what that is. I mean, I guess we'll go along that route. Oh, actually, no, because you know what? I had all of those uh, applied energistics things going. Like, look at all of these. Because when I was doing applied energistics, I had all of those machines going. So maybe we should actually use those for something and do the applied energistics one, which is um, from... What was it? Like AE, uh, hold on. Item. It's from this mod, AE Additions. Yeah, it's from AE Additions. So I'm guessing it wants you to make the, oh, actually it flipped through it. It showed what it wanted me to make. What's this one? Mega cells, extra discs, oh. Oh, it has to be the mega storage component. Ooh, actually. Maybe it'll be better to make the other one? Oh, okay, so maybe not. Maybe we do need to make the, yeah, okay, so we might not have enough for this.
we might let me let me take a, a deeper look into that uh and we'll see because we do have a lot of uh, applied energistics parts like a lot like look at all that silicon in sort of score it's like oh my god there's so much of it Okay, so we'll look on the next one. Try to get everything done that we can do. All Forbidden Arcus' beautiful magic mother can help you create some overpowered items. You'll need to advance further into the mod to create some of the advanced items needed for the star. Um, I need the arcane crystal dust. I don't think I have... Oh! Okay, hold on. I do. I have tons of arcane crystals. Let's cook these up. So it said I needed that. There we go. Dark rune block. We should be able to make that. Should be able to make that. But that's evil craft. Wait. Oh, dark runes. We don't have corrupt eye dust. There we go, dark rune block. That's actually really pretty. Oh, that, oh, that's really pretty. Can you make, oops, can you make anything with that? There's the facades and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we got to get into our Eternal Stella. Oh, I, I've been talking about the Eternal Stella for so, so long, but like I've never actually done anything with it. Because I just haven't needed to, like... Let's get some charcoal going for this one. Cook you up. I think, I think you should make... No. Ah, crap. The Twilight Forest logs don't make any... Oh. Or do they? Wait. Oh, they do. Wait, what are we missing now? Mundabar dust! There we go. Okay, so that one's whoop, 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 whoop. that one's done. We did those. We did those. Oh my God! Ooh, the rainbow furnace. Right. Should we try to make the rainbow furnace for the rest of the episode? Because that is going to take a hot minute, or maybe it might not. I might have all the items for it. How do you say this properly? M mundabit mundabitter. <laughs> Me and Mr. Editor, we would call it Mundabar dust. Mundabar. Who oh, are those seeds? Golden orchid seeds. Wow, Forbidden and Arcanus has really, really come a long way. I'm actually excited to get into that. Okay. Rainbow furnace. Oh man, oh man. Oh, we need different stained glasses. Um Okay, yellow. Orange. Yellow. Red. Um. Oh, wait. Green stained glass. Blue stained glass. Purple stained glass. And then magenta stained glass. Crafting grids are everything. Okay, we need to make one more netherite furnace. 
Oh my gosh, we have no furnaces. There we go. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay, we got the rainbow core. Oh god, yeah, okay. <laughs> We have to make all the furnaces again, except for the iron one. But at least it gives you eight. Okay, so that's fine. Oh man, so we have to make, oh man, okay. Have to make two of each because I need one of each for the, do I need a crystal one? I do need a crystal one. Wait. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, maybe I need to make... I have a diamond. Wait. What? The hello? Did I just... Oh, my God. I just used it like an absolute derp. There we go. Crystal. And then what else do we need for it? Silver. Copper. Gold. This. There we go! We got the rainbow furnace! Now, I don't know the purpose of the rainbow furnace because our these furnaces are wild. I mean, other than it looks really cool. But, like, yeah. That's, um... Yeah, that's really pretty. We're going to continue doing the quest line next time and go into the other mods and all that stuff. And yeah, I am so excited. I had so much fun today. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.